necessity is the mother of invention. We've all heard that. And today, my necessity is that I was out riding on the Lamy and the silencer fell off. I circled back, tried to find it, no such luck. I went and looked and you can't buy just a silencer for the gory pipe that I have. And so I did a little digging around and I discovered that what I have is I have a SIP silencer and this uh, actually ran on a JL, but um, it is 20, basically 25 millimeter inside diameter. The outside diameter of the Gory exhaust is 22 and a half millimeters. And I have this bit of pipe, which, oh, and the other piece I had is I built an adapter to fit um, the silencer onto a box just for giggles and see how it, it did or didn't work. And so this, it's pretty much a perfect fit. So it's been an easy welding job to attach this on. This piece here, the wall of this pipe is just a little thick. So what I've got to do is take my, my Dremel and grind this out a little bit so it'll slip over the existing exhaust stub. And then I'll cut a little notch in it at the appropriate length so that the whole thing can bend up. And, uh, and then I should wind up with basically something, you know, that's this, but on the back of the mini So let me get, uh, get this ground out. Nothing special here, it's just, Thermal the inside till I have a fit, then then I can figure out my cut, get it bent, do some welding, and hopefully this will all work out. Yep. So no, nothing special here. It's just cutting fluid grind on the inside, which I've got probably about a millimeter all the way around to go. Mm. This I'll do this. So let me finish this up and we can turn the thing back on then. All right, here we are. Some amount of grinding later. You can kind of see that uh, the, ed the edge where I ground out the inside of this piece of tube. So he now will slip on like so, which means that I now figure out exactly what the shape of this should be. All right, now I think that kind of what I want, I'm gonna pull this back a little. I'm just gonna cut a, a little slot here. I also need to recover this guy. Clean him up a little, probably, and uh, be good to go. All right, moment of truth. Oh yeah, look at that. Now, I'm just gonna figure out where this very hot piece of steel wants to attach. So if I go like right there, I think, then you can see I can build something that comes down like so. This guy sits here like this. And I've got, uh, Basically, the same length as uh, 
my piece of pipe overall, but all right, I'm kind of digging that. So yeah, I think cut it for here. And what I'll probably do is I'm going to cut longer and then uh, I will see exactly where where I want to put it because if it's like back here I'm, I'm still fine. All of my work to date is not for naught. Okay so here's this and I really feel like this is going to be too close but if I come out a bit I still wind up pretty much where I want to be I think. I'm just a little further I'm going to stick out like an inch for an inch past back here, but that's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, I think I can now start welding and then I'll worry about fabricating the bracket on these two guys, but uh, I should have I mean, whatever quarter inch or so, three eighths of an inch, at least three quarter inch of room right there to work with and uh, should be good to go. So cool. Yeah, we'll come back. This Once I have all of this part done, um, I'll start to worry about this. And what I'll do is I'll prototype this using a piece of cardboard, figure it out, and uh, then I can cut and weld. And it'll, because it'll come up, it'll support on the, onto this brace here, as well as down, uh, like a rib down to here. So it should be pretty freaking strong. Um, and it will not saw through or vibrate to death like the aluminum that was on there dead. good to go. Let's get this thing welded up. Alright, so get these out of the way. I already took this nut off. We can see the shattered remains. Down here for more shattered remains. But this will do. So I'm just going to give me our here, here. Kind of shape here. This thing's still pretty hot. So that's about what I want. Um, I'll, this will get trimmed back a little bit probably. These will get cleaned up. So let's trace this onto a piece of metal, I think. So a whole bunch of cutting and grinding and drilling and grinding and grinding and so on later. I have a new piece. Might knock that back just a tiny bit still. 
And then I think I'll be ready. We'll tack it here so I know it's like a good fit. And, uh, and then I'll uh, be able to pull it off and finish the welding. And amazingly enough, I think I'm going to pull this off. Okay, this guy. Yep, I think that's going to be exactly what I wanted. still hot. Look at that. Went on like it was made for it. on there man it's tough let's see how it sounds final thoughts on this project um it was not how i had intended to uh spend my saturday night but it worked out well. I have gotten out, I've ridden the bike. It sounds great. It has more power than it did. I don't know how much of the, the power improvement is the, the, the larger SIP silencer, how much of it is what I've been doing with the carb. I still need to get out and test the two separately because they effectively happen at the same time. But I'm really pleased with the results. The bike's running great. It's feeling good. Um, really happy with how it's doing. I just wished that parts would quit falling off.